Hi everybody, Chris here from Chili Holistic. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the tools uh, and a more in-depth conversation about how the tools work. So the crystalline energy range in regards to the neutralization ring, uh, as well as the sun ring. We're also gonna talk about the tensor rings that we create here at Truly Holistic, and also talk about the wanding that we do with uh, energy wand too in regards to its nature and how we use it and how all those tools are connected with one another now what how they're all connected with one another is that they create a vortex okay and vortex is a flow of energy okay and we're going to talk in regards to anti-clockwise or counterclockwise vortexes as well as clockwise vortexes and essentially what they do okay and we're going to use some quantum physics terms um and scientific terminology in regards to how they work okay now there is a term called entropy okay and the definition of entropy is a measurement for molecular disorder so straight away when i look at the word disorder is it references to the words chaos or chaotic. And what we've, the way we've described the neutralization ring, but also tensor rings, these two, these two work very similar, okay? The tensor ring brings something a bit more than this, but essentially what a, any tensor ring does, it creates a tensor field. And this neutralization ring creates a vortex, both create a vortex that are, anti-clockwise in its fashion and that anti-clockwise vortex inverts entropy okay so entropy is a measurement for molecular disorder as i said that could be at any level at the molecular level cellular level um atomic level and quantum level right and what it does is that the definition to invert is to put something upside down or in the opposite position order or arrangement. Now, the key with the word arrangement is structure. Okay, so what it does, these tools flip a chaotic field into a harmonious field. So what is a chaotic field? A chaotic field or energy field is a field that is unstructured. Okay, okay. So when we flip it from an unstructured form into a structured form, we go from a chaotic to a harmonious form. So that is inverting entropy, okay? And that's what the neutralization ring does. Now, the neutralization ring is often coupled with the sun ring. Now, when we just look at these tools, we see that the prongs are going inwards with this one, the prongs are going outward with this one essentially not a lot different in the way that we look at it so it's the opposites right now this one here which we've just talked about the neutralization ring which creates um inverting entropy right so transmuting a field that's unstructured to being structured then enables this tool here the sun ring which creates a clockwise vortex to then create a charge on the field we've just structured. Now, why is this important? Because when a field is not structured, it cannot hold onto the information or the downloads of light that a tool like this one has now placed upon it. Okay? So what we're talking about there is memory. That thing will hold memory. Now, another thing that uh, is used in energy work, crystals. Crystals have symmetry have geometry to it, have structure to it. That's actually where the word information comes from. It's about structure and symmetry. So that's why crystal is a great format to program it by using your intent in it because it will hold onto that intention, okay? Now, the way that we're using it here at Truly Holistic, where we charge or make an intention in a part of your body that we want to create a healing process within, is we want it to hold that area, to hold onto that intent, so it creates and holds the space where 
that area heals itself, or the body can then heal itself. Okay. So we've used the word entropy in regards to it's a measurement of molecular disorder, so chaos, okay, or a chaotic field, okay. And the word of inversion, inverting the entropy, so doing the opposite, right? So we're talking about opposites or polarities. And the polarities we're really mainly talking about here is chaos and harmony, right? So, so I mentioned about tensor rings being very similar to the neutralization ring. Now, an added benefit of tensor rings and why we use tensor ring technology more than the neutralization ring is because, okay, it creates a tensor field like any tensor ring and its ability to transmute and flip Chaotic field, to, chaotic field to harmonious field, so inverting entropy. It also has a benefit of the cubit measure that you use, okay, which is the, the, the length, okay, which brings in or anchors a specific frequency or a specific spectrum of frequencies. Now, here at Truly Holistic, a big aspect of your healing is connections to everything that you are, okay? And what I mean by that is connecting to the higher aspects of that make up you, okay? Not only as the human, but as the soul, a soul being part of a collective, true collective, true oneness of its soul family, and another term we can call for that is your higher selves. Another term we can call for that is your ascendants. Now, they are all connected as one, because they're all connected to the same source of energy, which is a quantum physics term, quantum entanglement. So you're not only a human, you're not only a soul, but you're a soul connected to a family of souls, your higher selves, which are all then connected to this one source of energy. So you're a source of energy as well. And you're a celestial, which calibrates that source of energy. So you can see that why we call ourselves a multidimensional being, because there are many aspects of what make up us, okay? And when we look at what the human is on from the quantum level, we are a projection of light, okay? Very much like the old analogy of a projector putting out light. And one, it's not only, and we just, if we sit to the side of it, we just see this light being pumped out of the projector. It's not until it hits the screen that it then forms an image, a projection, Okay, and that's really the human when we look at it from a quantum perspective. And quantum physicists, and I mention this all the time, say that the idea that we live in a physical reality is just an optical illusion. Okay, because we're just a projection of the field or expression of the field, which is light. Now, from the human perspective, we call ourselves a body or a physical form. But from the quantum perspective, we're just a projection of, of that field. So, when we start to get into qubit measures that connect you to your soul, connect you to your higher selves, connect you to soul self, connect you to celestial existence, and you add that with the effect it has in inverting entropy, then you've got something pretty powerful, okay? Because one, by inverting entropy, by flipping field from an unstructured form, to a structured form, it enables those downloads that the qubit measure is now anchoring in to hold better. So it creates and holds space. So that's the benefit of this tensor ring, the tensor rings we make here at Truly Holistic, because we are really bringing through qubit measures that are bringing in everything that you are, okay, as a soul, as I say, and beyond, all the way to celestial existence at the same time transmuting chaotic field to harmonious field so it's wonderful now another thing i'm going to mention that we use here at truly holistic is what we call what i call wanding so we get a chart system um anatomy chart to give us a reference because you know we're doing distance healing for example let's just say i was working on somebody's digestive system and what we do with the digestive system, I'll just place my hand over it. And through feel, I'll be levitated or gravitated to an area that we want to work. And let's just say it, I went down here and it went to, to liver. 
And what automatically happens, and I'm not telling it to do it, it starts winding that area in an anti-clockwise form or counterclockwise. Now, what we're essentially doing here is we're finding that the liver, as an example, there is chaotic field, unstructured field of what is going into projecting the liver. By when my wand is going counterclockwise, what is it doing? Very much like the neutralization ring, very much like a tensor ring. Through that anti-clockwise creation of a vortex spin, we are transmuting that chaotic field that is within the liver into a more harmonious form. So the act of wanding or what we're doing here is we're removing congested field, chaotic field, and turning that into field that has greater flow to it. Okay? And for example, if I was doing it on the chart that was working on your muscles and we were clearing congested field, that congested field will be expressed as tightness or tension in the muscle. And we do that a lot within our intuitively aligned sessions on spinal alignment where once we align a vertebrae or a disc, we go to the chart that has all the muscles of the body and we work on the muscles and relieving and removing that tension, that tightness, by transmuting chaotic, congested field into more harmonious and flowing field through the act of creating an anti-clockwise vortex, which is very much in line with the tensor ring as well as the neutralization ring. So, this is wonderful stuff. I wanted to really explain the tools in a very uh, advanced form, but in a, very, in a form that is easily uh, understandable as well. Because not, here, not only here at Truly Hustle, we're just using energy tools. Well, I get a lot of wisdom from these tools. These tools are, hold symmetry, geometry, which, again, as I say, is where the word information comes from. Information is wisdom. Ascension is about getting more information. When we become more structured, we, bec we become a conduit to allow more wisdom to come forth. Okay? So all these terms that we use, and, and calling myself also a quantum healer, is not just throwing a fancy word in front of being a healer. We use quantum mechanics, we use quantum physics here in regards to your healing. Okay? Now, another thing about the anti-clockwise vortex, which, as I say, the neutralization ring brings, the tensor ring brings, when we're wanding, that's what that brings as well, is that we're actually reversing time. So there's a symbolic nature of the word clockwise, right? And so when we're creating an inversion, okay, of entropy, we're actually reversing time because what creates that chaotic field to start off with. If we see ourselves as the creator, not a participant, okay, is that that chaotic field was created through a miscreation, okay, from the mind, okay? Okay, so what happens is when we then create the anti-clockwise vortex, it reverses time. So it reverses that miscreation that you created to start off with. So you can then create a creation from pure consciousness, okay? So what's happening is that vortex is actually affecting time, okay? Pretty cool. And what happens then when we affect the time by, again, reversing time, removing the miscreation, replacing that with pure, full, fully aware consciousness creation, we are then that goes into then generating this reality that you are creating as the creator. Okay, which it ends up doing is the effect when we look at cause and effect, right? In forward motion, not reverse forward motion. There's the cause and then an effect. So what we're doing because we're reversing time, the effect is re reversed, so we can then reestablish a uh, more pure. Uh, cause through creation not a miscreation so you can see how time comes into it as well anyway i hope you've really enjoyed this video my explanation of the tools and how they work from the quantum perspective but also from the human perspective so when you're coming 
a session for, with me and we're using the tools, you're understanding why we're doing it and the whole process in regards to why we, we, we use these tools and we use this intention. Also, for the people that are buying the tools from me, which all these tools that I've shown you are on my product site, on my website that you can buy. It gives you greater knowing and understanding of why they work and also how to use them so you get more benefit out of using them and you're more empowered in regards to the way you're using them for yourself but also for your loved ones and as a healer to your clients. Until next time.